Okay, so many people ask me how to do this, so here's a quick video showing how. I have a scene here with hair from one of my hair packs. Check out the Gumroad links in the description if you want to buy them, by the way. You can see the beautiful render, but the viewport only shows the guides. We have all the hair materials active here uh, that shape the hair. And the first thing we want to do is select all the hair objects we want to export and go to the Generate tab. And in the type, select Flat. There's other options here, but flat renders out perfect and is very efficient in terms of poly count. Once we did that, make the hair editable. Now all the hair turned to polygons and only if you really, really zoom in, you can tell it's just a flat polygon. So we're good. Now select all the hair objects, go to file, export and click on the cogwheel next to FBX. Here you want to make sure the camera and lights are not checked, but mostly that selection only is checked. Hit OK choose a location and that's it now you can import the fbx to whichever program you have but if you still want to render this in octane at least in cinema 4d uh, we're going to have one issue with this since the hair is not a spline anymore we can't have the gradient transition from the base to the tip of the hair using the w coordinate node to do that let's go back to the hair scene i'm going to select the hair objects and in the generate tab choose spline type make editable and the splines are not showing because i filtered them out but yes now all the hair is a spline object select it file export cogwheel on the fbx and this time make sure spline is checked choose a location and now i can import it to a new file and i'll just import a scalp object as well and i'll also paste in the octane hair material and let me just combine all the splines together and put the hair material on them we're not seeing anything in the live viewer, so let's add an octane tag to the spline. And in the hair tab, adjust the width to something very thin and check render as hair. And voila, you can see the hair. But not only that, you can also use the W coordinate node to paint a gradient from the base to the tip. That's it. Check out the hair packs on my Gumroad. Consider supporting on Patreon. And shout out to all my amazing patrons and members you see on the screen right now. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.